All right, guys, I was going through my timeline when I saw this old Timaya's picture with a caption. Your big dreams and the consistency is what will take you far. And the old picture itself reminds me of when Timaya was still very razz, you know, with street credibility and all. He was dating younger person Jama at the time. And later they broke up, which was a very messy breakup in fact it was rumored that timaya publicly disgraced her by going to her church yeah to collect the car key walked into the church collect collected the car key you know <laughs> came out start the car and left the you know the, the vicinity he had given her the car as a gift now fast forward to 2022 empress unjama at 42 met a man from liberia i mean you people know the story now the man who she claimed maltreated her and shed her nude at 42 my point here is when it comes to relationship some people are not just lucky like seriously the story with Timaya happened years ago and now even at 42 she's still going through something like this um yeah just thinking out loud right i saw a picture again uh today and of course timaya's post as well now like mm, that reminds me <laughs> so i just felt like sharing that now the next one is about alex ekubo so yesterday i posted a video talking about an interview between an interviewer from um, obodo yibo tv and a lady who claimed she's alex ekubo's sister if your mom is her name you know from canada i said in that video that alex ekubo's sister is the wrongest person to interview in this case right now stating a number of reasons why i think so but people called my attention to that saying she wasn't invited to talk that in fact she called in and uh, that the real video itself is like three hours long first i want you all to understand that i searched online to see if i could get the full video which is what i do with most of my videos um in fact i followed the link that you know was credited for the video on instagram uh, to see if i could get more details but i couldn't even find it on their timeline and i went ahead to search on google at the time all i saw was the exact clip and you know what we do these days post repost post so it's hard it's always hard to see the original video so almost everyone posted that you know that length um on social media so that's why i thought okay it's an interview plus it's just an audio and didn't sound like the lady called in now that still didn't remove the fact that trying to argue with a family member and make them support someone else is just not okay of course you can make assumptions or conclusion from what um, one person says but be open-minded like be open to understand other people's point that's what i was trying to say uh, and concern we all uh, are missing the point here uh this is not about whether being gay is bad or not it is about whether the information fancy is feeding us is true or false so it's about true or false not whether you know somebody is gay or not um guys here we have a jaruma uh, yeah i saw um this um on, on my timeline yeah because i follow i follow jaruma this is what she's got to say you know about uh, the the whole thing alexa kubo and fancy i mean we all or everyone's got a, an opinion <laughs> let's let's watch this is just a friendly reminder that you have to think very well before dating someone who is very popular or a celebrity or someone who is famous. Now, everything we've heard about this relationship is just from fancy. The breakup lasts a uh, year, fancy. The coming back to apologize, fancy. The coming back again to start abusing him again, fancy. In all of this, Alex has still not said a word. Do you understand? And I feel so much pity for him because Alex is one person that has kept his things together, you know, very private and stuff like this. So because this fancy is not used to people trolling her or commenting her, any little thing triggers her and then she starts writing and co commenting. But if it was a fellow celebrity, she will not say anything because she already knows how trolls and bullies are. So she will not give them the... Uh so guys, here we have basket mouth wife so basket about wife i've turned advisor or counselor or therapist on social media i don't know what to call her but this is a lady that's very quiet i think oh and eh, personal thoughts that she's doing this you know to help herself you know shed off some weight 
because obviously it's therapeutic you know to talk stay in front of the camera share your opinions uh, and, and stuff like that i mean since the husband is already a public figure i mean sorry the ex-husband is already a public figure so uh, i think this is what she's using to get the weight off her chest yes when you um when you talk and you as long as she's not putting out a uh, personal information or they're just advising people i think it's cool it's gonna help her though but it's just so funny that we're seeing this side of her that we've never seen so all is quiet but it's cool to see her talking about you know marriage shaming um she advised people to stop marriage shaming um women i wonder what's gonna be the next advice from this lady now because she said uh, i said she said no not, not she said <laughs> maybe this is just the name of the show elsie's thoughts look at the top right corner guys uh leave your thoughts in the comment section below um yeah Let's watch this video. I feel like it's only in this part of the world that people make a big fuss about a woman not being married at a certain age. Like you hear questions like, Auntie, why you never marry her? Is she going to marry herself? Some even go as far as suggesting that, ah, Auntie, she said you know, go go born one. Ah, how do you ask people such questions? You need to understand that if the woman is not married, it's because she's probably taken her time or she hasn't met the right person. Because you do not want to rush into this institution called marriage in the name of wanting to get married on time and end up rushing out. Because it's tough. Marriage can be tough. As beautiful as it is, it is hard work. Yeah. So if the woman decides that she's not ready yet, you need to let her be. Stop with the derogatory remarks on why she's not married because it is really unfair it's actually unfair yeah i just got to share so davido don't pay choma bright price oh finally finally so this guy went to emo state to pay everything so choma is actually from um inquiry local government area in emo state and choma's dad is the one standing in the video and according to report they said um is performing the umuna is he is i, I usually hear this umuna mo okay umuna umuna rights and umuada umuada rights <laughs> okay they said the meeting with um umuna okay umuna yeah, Umuna is said to be important because the groom's people have to restate uh, their interest in marrying from the bride to be family in the presence of their Umuna, <laughs> that is direct and extended um, family with family elders. Mm -hmm. Very, very interesting culture. I love it. And um, David Doe, according to a report, and in fact, I searched that, you know, I saw it on Wikipedia's page, is married to Choma. They put the Choma's Choma there as um, a spouse. Okay, guys, the next one, still about David Doe anyways, um, is Kiss Daniel. I mean, Kiss Daniel revealed that his favorite uh, David Doe song is... You see, ah, Flora, my flower. <laughs> yeah, I said this Flora, my flower. He was, you know, seen in the video dancing uh, to the song. Um, the while the song is playing in the background, and he said that <laughs> still his favorite David Do's song. Ah, uh, well, just just want to just want to put that there. And the next one right here, we have um some diabolical stuff going on here. So this lady, eh, during our wedding day, eh one woman just come eh, and they are always older women I, I don't know let, let, let us watch it again Let me reload this again i need to see if i can zoom in that lady's face so the lady that particular lady put her hand eh? see see it's just um crazy most of the time it's been the you know older ladies during a wedding they would just come touch you some of them will use the money to rub your head instead of them look uh, my advice to anybody where they do wedding be say i beg if you do wedding why do they even they allow hugs safe in the first place why 
why why why would you stand there and allow people to oh you know this is africa my people juju is real low is real be careful <laughs> but you can't be too careful out there but still you know just create space especially when you're dealing with um the crowd come on you're not a celebrity <laughs> are you david even david or uh, whiskey self they carry bodyguard um the next one right here the marriage the <laughs> marriage is uh the the, the fights uh, you know between this guy continue i keep seeing more videos i think the 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 live was long though dot man you know arguing with his own wife there's another video yeah remember uh, we talked about this two days ago right this is another clip the continuation of the fight it's crazy and sad to see something like this i mean they've got i think two kids together and she's expecting another the third child i've said it and i will keep saying it the worst thing you can do as a person or a couple is explaining your issues on social media to a set of people that don't care even though you call them your fans in fact you lose more sharing your relationship issues on social media than you gain it's even hard to identify people who truly love you in real life not to talk of um you know social media that's why i like what asha K said in this video i like the fact that you know the first few seconds um is filled with sarcasm realness and self-awareness all in few minutes or few seconds man asha K, i like you nice one I don't know the difference between eye service and people that are not doing eye service because now everybody loves me to an extent. Like everybody in my house, my friends, everybody loves me. Gatesman loves me. Uh, driver loves me. If I move on the road, everybody loves me. So like before I can tell when person will love me, like there will be blunt. But now everybody just loves me. So I don't know. I don't, I don't even know person will love me. I don't know anything. <laughs> if I open my Instagram like this, love. My Snapchat love, even to people that are, people really understand me because say, bro, your pimples, every, the pimples come sexy to everybody now, you understand? Like, my stature before people tell me, say, bro, your stature, now everything is just perfect. If I wear green or yellow or brown, za, dope. <laughs> I just do for everybody right now, so I'm happy, man. Ah, hey, now, wow things they happen my people so they said saudi arabia to allow cristiano ronaldo to live with partner georgina rodriguez despite the country's law laws forbidding non-married couples to live together <laughs> above the law don't enter country seriously you know religion eh it, be, it can't be like say religion are for poor people think about it okay this person shared this um you know while i was reading this i stumble on um somebody's post uh, that says religions um are for the poor back in 2012 i was waiting to see a pastor i waited for two hours i have not been able to see him one woman arrived she drove um a toyota prado a toyota prado jeep immediately the woman paid 50k express fees to see the pastor from that day i gave up <laughs> i give up i believe in god but i don't believe in religion and guys you remember cristiano ronaldo last month joined al nasser or something last month after his exit from manchester united um so he was unveiled to fans on tuesday that's january 3rd you know according to reports and the report says um but sports um report goes on to state uh that according to efe a Spanish news agency due to Ronaldo's status um, as one of the most marketable outlets in the world. The Portuguese star is unlikely to be punished, quoting two, <coughs> quoting two separate Saudi 
lawyers the legal uh, professionals expect the irrelevant authorities to not become involved in ronaldo's situation one said although the laws are still prohibit cohabitation without a marriage contract the authorities have begun to turn a blind eye and do not persecute anyone of course these laws are used uh, when there is a problem or a crime guys let me know what you think about that in the comment section below moving on to the next one here we have shina rambo's um i don't know what to call her maybe ex-wife or a strained wife um she said that i want to make it known that i am no longer an adeleke please my divorce process is on the way so you all leave me alone to live my life in peace stop causing unnecessary competition did shoma personally ever tell you all i have a problem with her please leave me alone i'm not an adeleke anymore they can have it i don't want she had replied a fan right uh, uh that says i see why you people are jealous of chioma she's the true definition of beauty and she replied i beg i beg did you get lost in my comment section carry your endurance group elsewhere please okay uh, it'd be like seeing a divorce competition people they do now <laughs> they say men will stay in your white uh women too can stay in your white that's why generally we just have to be careful with the people we accept into our life uh some people will make you become the best version of yourself others will make you become a shadow of yourself make we share they pray to god and hope say you know we see the bone of our bone speaking about seeing the bone of your bone uh, here's a lady jubilating jubilating with a child uh, saying that you know a man um that's her ex uh, used to say that she can't produce um, a child that she's finally giving birth see me see my picking i date you for good five years i'm not taking i'm not taking i don't born for better places uh, guys if i don't think this is a skit i think this is real but seriously um this is unhealthy though for this lady i i think so right she might have made that decision just get into any relationship and you know just try to get pregnant and give birth to prepare her ex you cannot get um something satisfying or you, know? you cannot get happiness from that if you're doing something because of someone it's obvious that she did this because of her ex and that means the guy still have power over you whether you like it or not well sadly if you can do things because of someone or make a life decision because that child is going to be with you forever because of someone moving on to the next one guys this is exactly what anambra wedding looks like it's all about making it rain with the money God, I know what I do is go cry. Dega, Dega, what's that in your hand? Stop playing. I know what I stack of stack, rack on racks. Oh, the King One Empire. King Two. Dega, Dana, seven two seven King. Oh, expensive boy. Richie, Richie, stop playing here we have a man uh that said he's been crying for five days because i mean christmas just was just boring it feels so lonely guys i know good life for now this is why i don't like abroad this is why i it's just and especially me we're busy they, <laughs> where they're born for lagos like seriously it's hard it's hard for me to you know to survive abroad like seriously you know i can always go for visits and stuff like that but it's just that i feel lonely most of the time you know there and this man said exactly the same thing <laughs> exactly the same thing and, and funny you know i've met people a lot of people actually who actually would love it like that who love that they just want i mean they they don't want to even see much people like that as much as i love my privacy so much i still want to know that i'm 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 on earth <laughs> <laughs> that i'm not in the spirit world where i get to see one or two persons on the street but guys let us watch this video and let me know your thoughts do you like you know to be lonely do you like that life or you know you just like to see people you know and stuff yes my fellow africa i want to show now the reason why we say many people they like to go nigeria go africa 
May they go to Christmas. For this country, this Europe where we there. As you no go see anybody where you go talk to. No single human being for road. On twenty fourth, no be small cry a cry. You better say I just did Nigeria. You know, just did Nigeria. Spent all the whole money when I when I did see road. No single human being. And I remember that time for Nigeria. If for Christmas time you cook rice, you go carry go give somebody. Best way you know they come in house normal day. Now you go cook rice to go give. Is that possible? You know they possible. Best way you know they talk to you. If you see you for a side boss, you know they will greet you. But a Nigerian person, you go boy you. You know no urge. You know no small picking. You know no big man. See I'm now. I just so cry. They cry since five days now. If like say now show you okay, you day now you go see I see the bubble. Or go to Korodu Road, that's the Korodu side. May you just go that side. May you see as the Korodu Road be. Hmm? I won't show now. Make a show now. When I don't see the road, no single human being did this road. No single human being did this road. Now, South Africa be. God don't create us, so give us power, give us everything. Now, we just take our hand and spoil them. Next year, mm -hmm. nothing will make me do this country for Christmas time. Yes, but next year, nothing will make me day here for Christmas time. Let me talk up. Mm, nothing will make me day here. Now say um, here is, you know, um, a prophet um, talking about how a lady is, uh, I don't know, you guys need to worry. <laughs> <laughs> She's my wife. Your wife. Why is somebody holding your manhood? Jesus. I see a woman holding your manhood. How many children do you have? I'm not none. You, you don't have a child. No. Follow me first. Power. Power. How can you turn your hands together for Jesus? The power of God is. The woman was see. Both of you had. Enter deeper, mommy, professor. A woman is dragging for her manhood like this. Jesus. Follow me after. See, as she dragging me, I want to hold her hand now. Aha. So as I hold her hand, we they drag you together. Power. Because after now, you're not going to drag you again. Hey, man. Ruyo, can you jam your hands together for listen. Jesus? Listen to me. Okay, listen to mommy. As the woman, they drag you. He said, now me, when you disappoint, hey. I'm going to make sure this woman no get picking for you. Jesus. He said, no matter how hard you try, say, as you they release, ejaculate inside her, say, now water. Hey. That is why when you ejaculate inside her, before you know it, go be like water, it go come out. Mm. Eh? Yes, Talk to me. Yes, it go just be like water. Oh, nothing that happened there. Eh? Yes, a woman, you hold you for manhood. And as she hold you for manhood, she the measure that was Akamba, Akamba, Akamba. That's my name, mom. You Akamba. Can you change your hands together for Jesus? Listen to me. Okay, listen to mommy. I see one leg for Akwaibo. I see the other leg for Imo. The woman constructed an image that looks like phallus. You know what it means, phallus? You know what it means, phallus? Phallus now, your jello jello. Professor, mommy, enter deeper. So, the woman constructed something. Phallus. She hold him every night. Jesus. She did mention Akwamba. She did mention Ngozi. My God. Who be Ngozi? You want Ngozi? She said, you can never have a child till you die. Hey. Can I prophesy to 5,000 and one of you? And Nigerians, right? We like prophecies. You will see a lot of people for a person with the prophesy. Even make, make you know, they heal. Like, make it just the prophesy. You see a lot of Nigerians. They just want to hear. <laughs> Nigerians want to hear. Okay, um, a friend of mine talked about um, a, a situation um, back then uh, with, with him and, you know, his parents. Uh, when they went to see one prophet i remember the guy said this prophet told the mom that he can't see anything that is looking at the because the mom you know want the prophet to see something in the life of that child so the guy was like his mom keep telling the the prophet 
to see something and the the the, the prophet was like no i can't see anything madam like you're asking me to see something this thing doesn't just come like that because i want to see it you know and what he's trying to say is the mom is the one pressuring that prophet to see something can you imagine so it's crazy you know how much people wants to see the future how they want people to tell them something you just see something whether negative or positive and that's how they get to us you know but this i can't talk on this i don't know um anything about this in fact this is my first time of seeing this uh prophet all right guys thank you so much for watching uh like this video subscribe for more videos until we see you next time peace